Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. I've got some news for you. Tucker Carlson has been exposing something about Obama. Apparently, he's gay. He likes to suck the dick. He likes to smoke the pole. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Obama apparently likes to play the... the, the, the <laughs> what's the word for sucking dick with like a... Um, trombone or something, it's like without a holes. He likes to suck cocks, ladies and gentlemen. He likes to fucking fuck men in the ass. All right, that's it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We are, we are okay here at Port Fargo Mount. We we appreciate all lifestyles, and you can do whatever you want as long as everybody is of age. So if Obama is gay, it's okay with us here. It's okay. You know, you know. It's yes, yes, yes. He's allowed to as long as the people he's fucking are over the age of eighteen. He can do whatever the hell he likes. But maybe he should come out. And why? Why is he still in the closet, ladies and gentlemen? Obviously, we had that wonderful comedian Joan Rivers, who, um, you know, uh, famously, I think it was on TMZ or one of those little uh, social media uh, platforms, said, well, you know, uh, she was asked, when is you know we're going to have the first uh, gay president? And uh, obviously, Obama was president at that time. And she's, we have one already. Obama, he's gay. And not only that, Michelle is a tranny and I mean that still hasn't come out I have no idea if Michelle Obama is Michael Obama but maybe you know and maybe in this age we just have to accept it I don't know why are they transphobic are they them homophobic themselves is that why we they haven't come out why hasn't Obama embraced his uh, homosexuality publicly I don't know but you know this interesting um, report that's come out from Tucker Larry Sinclair the man's name is and he uh, you know it's basically come out and said that uh, he liked to um, uh, smoke crack, of course. I mean, hunt, this I can see Hunter Biden and Obama getting together well, getting out the crack pipe. You know, it's like passing the peeps pipe there at the White House, ladies and gentlemen. They can both, you know, bubble, 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 gum, ladies and gentlemen. Get on the crack together. You know, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. They're, they're smoking drugs and then, and then they're having homosexual orgies. I don't think Hunter's into the homosexual orgies, but you never know. You never know. In this day and age, Hunter might swing both ways. This is something we all have to find out. And obviously, Tucker Carlson is going to be the one to get to the bottom of it, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter. He's doing everything that he couldn't do at Fox and calling out Obama as the F word is exactly what he's doing now because he would have got the sack at um, uh, basically at Fox if he tried to do that. But he's doing it here on Twitter and no one can stop him. And I think it's funny. I think it's good. You know, um, you know the interesting thing too is uh, there was that interesting thing in the Pizzagate thing where Obama was kind of importing hot dogs, which I think is a kind of code word for young boys. Now, if he's doing that, I think we do have a problem with him here at the plot for talking about is he's important young boys. That's a different story. That's Pizza Gate. That's Epstein Island. That's, you know, uh, that's not good, ladies and gentlemen. That's, uh, you know, that's a different kettle of fish altogether. Oh, of course, ladies and gentlemen, there's something else we've got to mention here. There was a strange, um, you know, event um, where uh, the chef uh, of Obama um, died on the um, property of uh, uh, Obama and Michael, uh, Obama, sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry, Michelle, I've got to keep reminding myself of that, Michelle. Um, you know, so it's very strange what's going on there. We don't know. Um, maybe they were smoking a crack together and there was an argument over the crack. You know, that, that happens amongst crack addicts, you know. Or maybe Obama was sucking his dick and Michelle caught him. Maybe Michelle murdered him. Maybe, you know, like Obama was having his dick sucked by the chef. I, I really, I can't, you know, my mind boggles of all the different scenarios that's going on. But I think there could have been some dick sucking and some crack, smoke, crack, crack smoking going on with the chef. And obviously it went south and he ended up in the ended up in the lake, he ended up in the sea, mate, ladies and gentlemen, at the bottom of the harbour. So that's the way it works at the Obama's house. So um, you know, I don't know, it wouldn't surprise me, mate. You know, uh, it seems like the decadence and corruption of the elite uh, is extraordinary and they obviously need something to blackmail people to keep them in line. Um, and obviously someone being gay is not really something that you can be blackmailed for. Indeed, if you're in politics and you happen to be gay or bisexual, it's probably a plus. Your, your numbers would probably go up. Um, so, you know, there you go. That's it. Um, so I don't know the truth of the matter. Obviously, I, I tend to believe this accuser that Tucker Carlson has been uh, interviewing. And obviously there are further reports that are going to be put out by Mr. Tucker Carlson, who has gone completely magical ever since he came to Twitter. So that's it. That's my analysis of the report. Um, obviously, I support Obama if he happens to be gay and decides to come out of the closet. That's fine. As long as what he's doing is with consenting adults. And if he's not, chuck the motherfucker in prison. So um, there it is. Uh, that's the report from Tiger Mountain with a little bit of humour. Thank you for listening.